Hello YouTubers and welcome at long last to my review of John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. Once again, directed by Chad Stahelski and is the third film in the John Wick franchise, but it's not necessarily the final film. No, no, no. Okay, uh, basically the plot of John Wick 3, um, Parabellum, is that um, John Wick is on the run. Um, he is basically... Um, the biggest, you know, sought after prize in the assassin community. Uh, all the assassins are trying to kill him because there is a huge price on his head. Um, he's been excommunicated and, yeah, he's got basically nowhere to go and he's trying to survive. Um, and that's kind of it. I mean, it goes on further, but that's the essential gist. Okay, John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. This film is getting really good reviews. Um, surprisingly good reviews. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I have to confess, um, I'm not going to be as positive as uh, some other people. And, you know, please don't hurt me for that. Uh, but I will say that I did really enjoy this film. It is a solid, satisfying third entry into the series, and for me, it, it might be slightly better than the second film, but I will always choose the original John Wick over this and the second one, because it's tighter, it's more compact, the story is more emotionally engaging, and it basically added a lot of weight to what was essentially a shoot 'em up action movie. This is kind of... It, it is what it is. It's a shoot 'em up action fest. Uh, it's brutal. The action of this film is brutal and is very well done. Um, but for me, the story wasn't as clear this time. Um, I mean, there was certain. I mean, it's certainly a decent enough story, but there are elements of the story like that I find a little confusing. Um, that might just be me, but I, I found some plot elements a bit hard to follow. Um, but I saw. So I just kind of enjoyed the movie for its um, spectacle. And there's a lot of spectacle. There's a fantastic um, chase in um, on, a, on a motorcycle, um, which is really cool. Um, there's a great opening fight in a library. Um, and believe me, some of the deaths <laughs> are really quite, uh, quite uh, spectacular in one sense of the word. Um, and, you know, the movie kind of romps along. And, and you know, you kind of have fun with it. Um, for me, it's not... It never became as emotionally engaging as the first movie. And I made the same thing about the criticism about the second film. None of the none of those two actually came close to being as emotionally engaging as the first one. Which is a slight problem for me. Um I like the I like Halle Berry in this film. She she appears as Sophia, this, this female agent who I think she's lost her daughter or something. Um there's loads of different plot reasons as to why they include her in there, but to be honest, I don't really see the the point of her character. She she only appears for about 15 minutes, so <laughs> she doesn't do very much in the film. So hardly seems worth having her in it. But you know, Halle Berry's a good actress, and you know she's pretty sexy, so that's another good thing. Um, Ian McShane plays Winston once again. Winston, who is um, John Wick's friend, who owns the hotel, and um, there's a little bit of conflict in this one, um, uh, which is which is interesting. I won't spoil anything, but um, we do, you know, we do think at one point is Winston going to betray John Wick? But well, you'll have to go and see the movie to find out. Um, Lawrence Fishburne reappears in his part, and he's he's pretty good. I like him in this film. Um, and there's this female villain known as the Adjudicator, played by Asia Kate Dillon. Um, She's good. Um, she's pretty good. And I like her character, the Adjudicator. Um, but the movie's kind of more of the same. It's, it's what you'd expect from John Wick. It's just, it's a load, it's great action. Not too much substance, but, you know, just enough. <laughs> I mean, it's it, like the first two movies, it's impressively shot. And visually, it looks very good. The lighting is still great. There's even a, sec um, even a section where um, John Wick gets stranded in a desert. And... <laughs> We see him lying on the ground, and the sand, actually, is, the colour of the sand looks very detailed. Um, there are some really brutal moments here, some really gory... Well, not I say gory, but um, 
some brutal like moments, not just in the action sequences, but um, like when um, like when John Wick has to cut his finger off. Oh god, that was a bit intense to watch. Um, yeah, but uh, it's it's fun. I mean, Keanu Reeves is pretty pretty good. I mean, there's occasional lines when he's a little wooden, but. I mean, I can't really fault Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is a is a lovely man. He's a he's such a nice guy. Um, the the amount of stuff he does good for the world is 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 amazing. Um, he's not he's not the most talented actor, but I think in John Wick he gets away with that. I think he plays that role very well. And I'd love to meet the guy. I think he I think he would be a genuinely nice guy. Um, so that's nice. And Lance Reddick reappears as Charon. There's a great finale sequence in a hotel but that's kind of my issue with this film as well like the the finale of the film goes on and on and on it feels like it never stops um we have a big fight in the hotel then we have a fight where john wick takes on two guys and then we have another fight when john wick takes on the leader of the two guys it's like it just goes on and on i mean i like i love the action in this film but I did feel that the, the third act it just it stretched out too long. It's it was it was it was too long. I think that's another problem I have with this film. Some of the pacing dragged on a bit. I found some scenes a little bit slow, probably because I didn't understand all the story elements. Um, uh, there's so many characters in this film, and it's it's a little bit it's slightly confusing at times. I wouldn't go so far as to say convoluted because it's a pretty basic premise. So. You know, it's it's. I mean, this movie is just meant to be fun. I think it's just meant to be made for the action sequences. So, yeah. Um, and the music is pretty good as well. I like the opening of the movie, and it's nice to see a dog, the dog in it again. And there's a couple more dogs actually that appear. What is it with this franchise and dogs? And what is it with this franchise and trying to abuse dogs? I don't, I don't get that. It's <laughs> like there's a dog that nearly gets shot in this film. I mean, oh, don't do that. <laughs> but um. No, I mean, I can see why it's getting the rave reviews, but I don't quite agree, but I would say it's a it's a very solid film. It's fun. It's a good watch. Um, some good cast members. I mean, the acting's more or less great for the most part. Um, but kind of slow pacing, and I think the direction by Chad Stahelski is, is pretty damn good. And we actually get to learn a bit more about the origins of, um, of John Wick as well. Well, uh, minor details anyway, um, in the beginning of the film. But yeah, um, I would. If you love the first two movies, definitely go and see this one because you won't be disappointed. Um, but as for me, I'm going to rate John Wick Chapter Three Parabellum an eight out of ten. Yeah, so that's that, folks. That's my review of John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. What do you think? Uh, please leave a comment down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And, yeah, the door has been left open, folks. Oh, excuse me. Um, it looks as though the ending of the film will be setting up for a fourth movie. So it's very likely that we'll get a fourth John Wick film. Um, I don't know when, maybe in the next couple of years or so, but who knows? I guess, I guess they weren't done yet. Ugh. Because I thought this was going to be the last one, but no, there was nothing. Uh, there was nothing to suggest that this was a finale. So, but hey, hope if it's good, I'll go and watch it. So yeah, that's my review of John Wick Chapter Three Parabellum. Please leave a comment down below. Um, stay tuned for a review of Doctor Who: The Mutants. Uh, more Lamb Before Time reviews. Uh, I'm also going to review Rocket Man, uh, the new movie about Elton John. That's coming, and as well as X Men: Dark Phoenix. That is a film I will like to review. I have reviewed the other X-Men movies, but they're on my Ollie Pajak channel. So, um, I have got a playlist, I think. Well, I think. Um, but search up Ollie Pajak X-Men, and then you'll find my reviews. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you guys all for watching, and as always, I'm Mr. Tardis 11 See ya.